This is Pierre Delacote working at Planet Technologies. Imagine that you you are some sort of community manager and you need to centralize important messages in teams, in maybe in different teams or in one teams. So you will use OneNote and share the OneNote um, and in the OneNote you will collect all the important teams post that that's pretty uh, ma it's a manual process um, and for sure it's a manual process because you need to decide which post is really important for the, your community um, so uh, using power automate previously called flow you can ease the automation and I just wanted to show you um, a simple way to do that is to enable uh, an automation within Teams to send a post to a centralized OneNote. So how do, do I do that? First, I created a notebook. Here it's called To Do, but you can call it whatever you want. I created a section called Teams message, you can call it whatever you want, and I, I created a page called messages, but you can really create whatever you want. What you need is really one page. So <coughs> I can either manually go to my Teams and check the post and select the post, click on the post, the link to the post, and go here, type the text that was in the post, and, and put the link to the to the Teams post, but it's really a lot of work. So let's see how we can do a better job. So I, I already did it, so I'm, I'm not gonna go through how you make it, but you know, it's pretty easy. So I can either go to my portal and start Power Automate here and create my flow. But also, what I can do now is within Teams, I can, I already did, did it, I can add, uh, it's called Flow, they didn't rename it yet, but I can add an app, I can search for Flow, for example, and add Flow, and then I pin Flow here so I can have access to Flow here. So when you do that, when you add Flow to your toolbar here, on the left, then you have access to the same pages that you have access through the browser, but within Teams, which is really handy. And you can see I have several um, workflow already, and um, and I also have access to the popular workflow, and I can use one uh, to create um, uh, my my own workflow. So I use this one, and. Uh, and I change it a little bit. So I'm going to show you this workflow sent to OneNote. So basically, it's a workflow that triggers uh, when you select uh, the workflow in Teams. And we're going to see how it looks like. So I call it sent to OneNote. So for a selected message in Teams, I'm going to do something. So <coughs> I choose, I brought uh, among all my notebooks, I brought where I want to store the message in what notebook, then I choose what um, um, what section I wanted, and then I selected the page ID. So it's just, you know, just you need to select and it shows everything for you. Then what you need to know is the update target is, uh, it's HTML based. So uh, you need to target the body. Um, I was a little bit hard to find, but um, use this, this text body. Then um, you, need, you you add it in your page the way you want. So I, I there are several way to, uh, insert your your message so I append it um, after the current uh, text 
And here is the new content. So the new content, it's a little bit um, of HTML because it's HTML based. Uh, so I create a new paragraph. I said, put in bold message det details and reuse the, so here it's, you have access to all the information that can are coming from team. So I, I use uh, the message, which is in plain text. And um, I just want to, so this is a HTML code to show the link message. Uh, so I will have a text called link to message and I will have the link to the post, to the, the, to the message in Teams that I'm triggering. That's simple, not rocket science here. So when you do that, then when you go to Teams and you're working, uh, let's say you're working uh, in a team or several teams, you can do that. Um, let's take our user group Teams and you find an interesting uh, post. So let's see which post will be um, important. Um, so let's take this one. <coughs> so I want this post to be in my OneNote. So here now when I click on the three ellipses and I go down to more actions, I click on it, then I'll see, and you will see, maybe it, it lags a, bit, a little bit, but after a few seconds it comes, then I see my workflow I just created, or I previously created. I just have to click send to OneNote, and then it will pop up a window if I want to add a comment. I'm not gonna do that. I <coughs> just have to submit. So I can do that on several posts. Uh, so let's take this one too. Same action, send to OneNote, <coughs> submit. So you can see, I can browse through my for different posts um, and just send them to OneNote. So very useful for a uh, community manager. So now what happens in, in OneNote? So for whatever reason, there's a little bit of lag because you need to update it. So the way I update it is I move <coughs> my post or I enter, press enter, and then it comes. And here you can see there's message details, the link, the text, and the uh, and what was in the text. So there's a link into the text and a link to the message. So if I click here, um, let me change Teams, for example, if I go here, so you'll see there's a, so I click, so more good stuff coming to Teams. I click on link to message. So it launches the browser because it's URL and then it sees that there's my uh, desktop app, Teams desktop app, and in goes here, more good stuff. So pretty handy, easy to put in place. Um, so use this new feature to create workflow automation directly into Teams. And uh, when you do that, uh, you can create a, a, a team workflow that you can apply to any message. So imagine what you can do. There's a lot of things you can do by, <coughs> maybe you want to do something else. Maybe you want to send, send it to somewhere else, to SharePoint list or whatever, a database or <coughs> to Twitter. I don't know what you, your imagination will lead you to, but it's really powerful. And Power Automate, previously named Flow, is really an amazing tool. And it's more and more integrated to Teams. So enjoy Power Automate.